rights take place. And this is in honor of the LGBTQ plus community. WENY's Max Coven has more about one local festival. Max. Good evening, Alexandra. For the first time in 10 years, Elmira Pride made its return to the Southern Tier. The festival is one of many events celebrating the LGBTQ plus community over the next month. Morning, everyone, and welcome to Elmira Pride. We wanted to bring a Pride Festival back to Elmira. It's been about 10 years since it happened. Pride festivals vary in their formats. Sometimes they are extravagant parades, and other times they are wholesome community gatherings at Wisner Park. The way you love, and it doesn't matter to us how you love. So it's a celebration of the GLBT lifestyle, plus all the vendors that are here are in support of that lifestyle. Whether that is based on a house of worship, community group, artist, friends, or family, Pride is about positive self-expression. I am a senior at Corning Painted Post High School. I come from a rainbow family. Uh, I've got several moms, more than I can possibly count. Jay explains his transition is complicated, going from female to non-binary to male, back to non-binary, back to male. Jay says it has been a journey. Um, and I actually only came out as male uh, in June of 2022. Uh, about two months after I started testosterone. We've come far. We serve in the military, get married, and are afforded basic civil liberties in most states. You can see same-sex couples on the Disney Channel and Hallmark Christmas movies. And still, we are not safe. And not just for one day, but one month, the Southern Tier takes opportunities like Elmira Pride to make everyone feel safe, welcome, and wanted. And Elmira Pride was the first LGBTQ plus event happening locally in the Southern Tier. And coming up, other events include Corning Pride and Ithaca Pride. If you are an LGBTQ plus member and are looking for support, visit our website at WENY.com for more on how you can get that help. Alexandra.